In today's lecture, we will learn about summarize columns. In the prior lecture, we have learned about summarize function, but today we will learn about summarize column. So let's write one SQL query so that we can get the same result with the help of summarize columns. So let me write one select static from Tim Prouder subcategory. In the giant products, P on P dot subcategory is equal to product category. We need product subcategory. Product subcategory. So sub dot subcategory key. Then we need another inner join sales S on S dot product key equal to p dot product key. so here we need instead of subcategory we need subcategory key and now we need to execute to so see it if it works so we are getting some rows and let's write some required information that we need from this from these tables the first one is the subcategory name, English subcategory name, and the other one we need. So we we can use alias sub dot, and then we need p dot color order date key. So now we can write count. And here we need to write uh, the name of this column. So total transactions. That's all. And uh, we need these two columns in group by So we can execute. So here you can see we are having 24 rows, and these are the English product subcategory. This, this is the color, and this is the total number of uh, transaction per product and per color. So we need to filter out those categories which have product color blue. So we need to write here where p dot color is equal to blue so now we need to execute it and here you can see we are getting three rows so now we need to achieve the same result in DAX so mm -hmm. let's move to the DAX studio and um, here we can write evaluate and then this is a new function summarize column and in summarize column we don't need to specify any table name so we can just we, we need to specify the the columns the first one is the team product category english subcategory name and then the second column is product color and uh, then we need the aggregated column so that, that is 
total transactions will be count sales and uh, order date key so we need to close it and uh, let's hit enter uh, we will need to click run and here you can see we are getting 24 rows and these are the some products colors and these are the transactions in the prior lecture for the filtering purpose we have added here filter function but with the help of summarize column we can use filter here filter and uh, then we need to provide the the product table and the other one is products color is equal to blue We need to close it and uh, this is the filter and now we need to click run so here you can see we are getting three rows and uh, these are the underlying data so we are getting the same data 1283 for the bikes and 562 for the vests so if you see here 562 for the best so we are getting here 562 for the best and the other sum so this is how we can achieve the same result with the help of summarize summarize column so the only difference between summarize column and summarize is in summarize we need to provide one table name and then we need to provide the other columns but we can't use the filter inside summarize but on the other hand when we use summarize column, we don't need to specify table name. We just need to specify the uh, different uh, columns that belong to the different tables. And then we have to provide uh, one filter function. This is optional. And um, then we need to specify the um, aggregated column on which we need to do some calculation. So that's all.